Welcome back guys, we're going to do a show about our top picks of the year. I, I originally wanted to do top 10 for 2019, but my 10 wasn't good enough. No, your 10 was picked while I was gone. You're just like, oh. I picked oh, the best. The 10 best pickups of the year. You picked what you wanted and I. Which were the best. I disagreed that some of the ones that, okay, people probably already have but are sentimental to me and that I really enjoyed us picking up. I know. Needed to be in the list. I so know. instead of doing All a top right. 10, we're doing a top 12, a game for every month. There you go. Yep, I think so. Ooh. All right, let's rock and roll through this thing quick. Okie dokie. Well, I don't even know what's on the top here. Oh, it is Sunset Riders for the Super Nintendo. This is a couch co-op shoot 'em up game there. And the reason why it's on my top pick is because it's a fairly sought after collectible game. It's a little on the pricey side. But we got it for a good price. We got it for a good price. And um, the reason why we got it for a good price is because it's a little bit above. I'll take a picture of it. Scratch, whatever on the lane, right where my finger is. But for that price, it was well worth it. Mm -hmm. And when I seen that, I thought of me and you playing oh, yeah? the bajesus out of this game. I haven't tried it yet. I have no well, idea what it's about. Well, I haven't I'm tried it. I'm looking forward to trying it. I haven't it. tried it either, but um, we're going we're gonna to try it. Oh, yeah. That's one of this game, one yeah. of these games this year. Yeah. Yeah. This nice. one you're going to talk about because this is not. I wait. This is your chance to guess what it is before I even show you. Because if you watch our channel enough, you know what my favorite game is. Donkey Kong Country 2 DD's Conquest. I had an obsession with this game. Okay, I played it when I was younger, but we did yeah, not. Yeah, like you were probably what? No, no, no. 30. Shut up. 30. No, I'm talking about when I was younger, younger. A uh, cousin of mine had this on his Super Nintendo. I never yeah. owned a physical copy. Now you do. Now I do. However, when I was like 25, 26. Way back. 20, way back. Um, my, our spare room in our old house got converted into an office slash makeup station room for me. Do you remember this? You made yes, me that. The, the computer was in there. Yes. We made this big, yeah. long, tall, or not tall, but long, all one side of the wall desk Scott made for me. And I was like, if we ever have to tear this down, I'll be pissed. And, and then I got comes pregnant. The baby. And then I got pregnant. But mm -hmm. up until then, I had played the holy hell out of this on an emulator yeah. with a Logitech controller. And I would come home and I would play it and play it oh, and play it hardcore. and play it. Hardcore. One of those stay up way too late oh, yeah. and then have to go to work the next morning. Be like, yeah. oh, my eyes are sticking to my eyelids. Mm -hmm. What time is it? 3 a.m. I got to work at 7. I can play for another hour. I mean. All right. This this is another. This is the This is the second one that she had to have on it. And I can tell by the camera that you people might even be able to tell by mm -hmm. the label. This what was is? another favorite I've mentioned because I don't. Now, I honestly can't. What is it? It's Bubble Bobble. Bubble Bobble. Um, I can't even remember if we owned this when I was younger or we I just continually so. rented it. But my brother and I played this so much. It, I don't even know. Did you beat know, it? I don't know if we did. I don't know 100% for sure, but I think there's 100 levels. I think there is. Either 99 or 100. I cannot remember. But we didn't beat it. We got very the close. The only time I ever played Bubble Bobble was at the arcade. Speaking of which, there's an arcade. Where? Bubble Bobble Arcade. Oh, I thought you meant there's Finish. an arcade in Moncton. But no, yes, no. you keep... He keeps mentioning that. He keeps pointing at rooms and or places in our game room. You know, it would look really good right there. Bubble a bubble bobble, bobble machine. But it's eight hundred dollars. I know, but I just want to make you happy. He wants to make him happy. He really wants an arcade. <laughs> but he figures he can talk me into it if it's an arcade. No, if I want. get yeah, if I get you an arcade, then be like, well, I don't have an arcade. That'd be nice. Ar my own Where arcade. Why do you put the second arcade in here? I don't. We just gonna get rid of the no, kid and make yeah. his room an arcade room? 
I'm gonna mention right now, for brownie points, that the only reason I bought Bubble Bobble and the Donkey Kong, I bought all three Donkey Kong countries. He did. For this. And I love them. And I love them. Yes. I've gotten you some games. Oh, you for got Christmas me a lot. And stuff lots and of games. all his consoles, all his like older generation consoles, I got for you yep. for Christmas and some birthday. Yep. So we already did a pick on this game. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you guys, but it is in my top twelve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the reason why it is in my top twelve, not only is because it's a great game. Um, it's because of the price we got it for. Oh yeah, it was a start the car moment. Yeah, they messed up. This was at a local pawn, pawn shop. shop. Yeah. Basically, supposedly these things are supposed to be retail prices. And I already told the story about this, but when we seen it, it had a $30 sticker on it. I think you still have the picture of that. Oh yeah. And then we said, that one's mine. Can you put it behind the counter while, while we continue to look? All yeah. right. And then while we were continuing to look, we noticed that the manager had walked by and looked at the game and he was looking at it like this. And I said, my wife was like, that's ours. We already claimed that. And he's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a, it's a pretty good price. It's pretty rare too, eh? I'm like, yeah. I don't care. <laughs> yep. And the Canadian code of contact, contact, or conduct. Conduct. Oh, Canadian code of conduct. If there's a price on something, you have to honor the price. So he didn't even do anything. And I, but I would have called him out on it too if he would have been like, well, that's the wrong price. And I'd be like, but my eyes, I don't give up. my eyes can't unsee the price it was. So <laughs> I'm getting it for that price. This one, we got this one and oh. we played, we haven't finished it yet. But I know, we're, it's We're right at the end. We're right at the end. But um, it is. Luigi's Mansion. Oh, it's so good. It is really good. It's it's so good. It I motivated so us fun. to get Luigi's Mansion 3 for yes. the Switch. Yeah. And we also, well, not we, you made a painting. I did. And because maybe of by that. the time this video comes out, the giveaway will all yes. be out and somebody will be the proud owner of that Luigi's Mansion. Yeah. Trust me, guys, I don't want to give it away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think neither. when you paint something, you just. You put a little piece of your soul into it. Anybody that does anything creative, any time you build anything too, it's the same thing. You put a little piece of yourself into it and you're like, It would be, <sighs> it's easier to give it away than it would be to sell it. Yes, like, yes. Somebody told me, you know, give me a price on an Optimus Prime, that big bill. Yeah, there's no price on that side. No. What would be the price? What would be the number that we sell it there? I can't give you one. <laughs> no, it's, well, there's so much sentimental value yeah. there too, right? So uh, it's, it's a, uh, it's a moo point. Moo. It's like a cow's opinion. It moo. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, I should make a friends reference in every I'm video. Counting down the days. Days. Day. Counting down the hours. Hours. Counting down the hours. Netflix, you are making me a happy man this year. I'll download it, or I'll do something, and I'll put it on a stick, and I'll still watch it every day. I'm like auxiliary. This one. Watch it. Vampire Knight. This is an awesome yep. shooter for the PS2. And it is a two player shooter. Yep. And it's not a split screen two player. It's one screen, two players. That's how it should be. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I it's hate good. split screen it's good. stuff. It's really good. It's like you were playing in an arcade. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome, fine. I think it was Phil that told me that this was his favorite shooter. And, oh, right. and I was on the hunt for it. At the, nice. At that point. All right, we got an original Xbox game. Stubbs the Zombie, Rebel Without a Pulse. I am really excited to play this. I, it? We haven't played it yet. Haven't but... played it yet. Now, right before this video, I was in the process of trying to figure out if it was backwards compatible mm -hmm. on the Xbox One, and it's not. And it's not. So I popped it into my Xbox 360, and the first time I popped it in, into my Halo 3 edition, Yeah. that's the one that I have that's hooked up to my Xbox One, so everything kind of plays through the same HDMI, and um, it read it, it recognized it, popped the name up on it, and then it said I needed an update. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. But my Xbox is not 
well, is, is one of those modded and has been banned <laughs> Xboxes. So I figured... Somebody stole it and did it without our consent. <laughs> so anyway, I figure, okay, well, I'll send you up, yeah. get the update on the stick, and we'll pop it in there and everything. And in the process of all of that, the next time I put the game yeah. in, my DVD reader, or DVD drive, will not read No, more so games. there's something wrong with the eye. There's something wrong. It was getting a little finicky here over the last month or two when I've been trying this. That being said, how many Xbox 360s have you fixed? I fixed a little, I don't know, five or six. Yeah. But. You'll be able to fix that one. I don't know if it's just something as simple as a dirty eye. Mm-hmm. Uh, Could be. I hope so. I hope so too. Or I may have to rebuild it like I did with the PlayStation 3. Yeah. And I don't know. And I'll, I know. I'll have to do some research, but I do have multiple Xbox 360s. And I know what everybody's thinking. They're probably thinking, just get a new one. They're dirt cheap. But uh, it's his it's Halo one. It's my Halo one. Yeah. It's yeah. got a lot of. I got a lot of hours in that machine there. And I got a lot and of I sentimental also value. It for you and for you bought it for me for Christmas, I think. Is it Christmas or a birthday? I think it was Christmas, and I think I didn't have the money actually to do it at the time, but my mom said, I'm gonna take you out, we're gonna put it on my credit card, and you can pay me back, and I did. But she knew how badly I wanted it. My, my parents are awesome. They, oh, yeah. they, they treat us awesome. both great. They actually treated you really good over Christmas too. You got a a new game from them and a uh, eight bit go eight controller. Bit controller. Yep. Yeah. So this is co-op. We haven't had a chance to play it yet because my machine just wah, wah. kicked the bucket there, but I will be playing it. It's yeah. co-op and uh, you're basically from my understanding is that you're a zombie and mm -hmm. I don't know what the missions are, I don't really know anything, but I think you eat people to restore your health. Okay. Uh, other than that, I really don't know. I haven't gotten a chance to play it, but it is one of those original Xbox games that are worth more than the $5 bin yes. that you find them in. This yes. one tends to go for upwards of, I think originally they wanted $80 I for I think it. so. And then they marked it down to 60 sat on the shelf for a good long time. And they marked it down to 60 or so. 60 or 50, I can't remember, but I know we had a trade. We traded some stuff. I traded a bunch of doubles and stuff that mm -hmm. I had kicking around. And then I got it really cheap. 20 some dollars. 20 some odd dollars. And it's so one of those games there, if you're into X original Xbox games, that's one of those highly collectible games. Yeah. yeah I had to get it. So. Yeah. Gr agreed. This one, not only is it an awesome game, it's the hardest game ever. <laughs> Ghouls and Ghosts for the Sega Genesis. This, we did a show. We did a show for Halloween this year. It's October probably 2019. one of our favorites. This is one of my favorites because yeah. we turned it into a drinking game. Jen played it for the first time ever. And every time she died, I drank. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Hit. I'm going to try not to. Ah, you were a son of a... Go low. B word. B word. B word. Brave night. Yeah. And I had to drink a lot. <laughs> yeah. Just for her to get through the first level. <laughs> and speaking of drinking speaking games. Speaking of drinking games, we're planning another drinking game. Yeah. Um, Jen and Dennis, Dennis has been on the show a lot, have been talking smack mm -hmm. all year long about who's better at Hot Shots Golf. Of all games to be have bragging rights on there. I don't care, it's me. <laughs> we don't even need to play it to know it, but. So, I came up with a solution. Yes you did. It's going to be a drinking game. We're gonna do nine holes. Cause 18 will kill ya. <laughs> and it's gonna be Hot Shots. For shots. For shots. <laughs> Tequila shots. <laughs> I wish I had thing. a sombrero to wear while I'm doing <laughs> Or like a golf hat or some sort of golf outfit. Stay tuned for that one. That yeah. one's going to be fun. <laughs> if you win, it's fine. If you don't, 
It's still so, fun, you're just drunk. Somebody could end up taking nine shots of tequila. Yeah, Dennis is going to be so hammered. I really want to do 18 holes, but go, no. both of you guys are no. very we light. No, we'll die. Lightweights. Lightweight. And Randy Coleman much. would say. Lightweight. We are lightweight. <laughs> this game here is not an overly expensive game, um, but another, another uh, suggestion from my friend Phil, and it's Urban Rain. It is one hell of a good beat 'em up. It's kind of That's a cool. kind of a cross between maybe a, a Streets of Rage and then wrestling all at the oh, same really? time. Can yeah, it's 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 awesome if you just want to get in there and kick somebody. Yeah, I see that. Really enjoyed it. I played through it. I'll probably play through it again. Oh really? And it's hard. It gets really hard. Oh, I that's think cool. I had it on. Not the easiest level, but the second easiest one, I think there was like quite a few. Okay. Oh, I don't even know how you beat it in the top level. You'd have to have your guy maxed out. Oh, yeah. And it is also two player. So, Couch co -op, baby. would I be able to play this? Oh, I hope so. Okay, well, I'll totally I want somebody play to play it with me. Yeah. Yeah. All right, looks like two more original Xbox games. And I know people can see it because I can see it on the camera. Ruining the surprise. Panzer Dragoon Orta. I threw this into my Xbox One because it is backwards it compatible is. and it looks great. It does. I was surprised. Really For surprised. an Xbox original game, yep. how great the graphics were. I picked it up because it's on a lot of people's lists of top original Xbox games. Yep. And a lot of people say it is the best looking original Xbox game out there. Now, we tried it on our Xbox One. Yep. I don't know. I'm assuming they would have polished the graphics a little bit to bump them up for Maybe, that. Maybe, yeah. Maybe it's a little past the 720 or whatever. I, I don't yeah. know. It's cool though. I'm gonna maybe do. Maybe I'll do a comparison video of it on my original Xbox, my Xbox 360, and my Xbox One because oh, it yeah. should play them on it all. Should. I should be able to game capture them all. We'll have to all. check that out. I mean. Yep. It's not necessarily fact that if it plays on the three on the Xbox One, that it'll be on the Xbox 360. Yeah. Uh, like should for be. sure, for sure. It should be. Okay. Well, I didn't know because Stubbs the Zombie is on the 360, but I guess that's going up yeah, one. It's going up okay. the next next generation. Because you've said they've taken away some too. That mm -hmm. was frustrating. That's my next game. Mm -hmm. It looks really cool. I only played maybe 10 minutes of it. It's a shooter. If you're on a dragon or shoot, it, it, well, I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about it, but it looks really good. Mm -hmm. It looks like I can get into it. What are we like? This is Game of Thrones before it was Game of Thrones. <laughs> Maybe. The Mother of Dragons. Trying to hide these games there so people can't see. The, she looks the like camera. the Mother of Dragons, kind of ish. No. Well, no, with the She's hair. Got silver kind of hair. Yeah, the other lady has like blondish. Oh, yeah. Squint. We, what, you know what's weird? We haven't even really watched Game of Thrones. <laughs> no, no. Tried to get into it. Watched the first I don't think half it's that of we, the first season, and then we just kind of gave up on it. I don't think it's that we couldn't necessarily you get into it. You insert the booze right now. Boo. Boo. Guess suck. <laughs> Maybe we could try it again because... I want Netflix to pick it up, but I don't think they did. Um, I don't think they're going to. Um, there's it's probably too on, many I think it's on things to watch. Yeah, there is. So. Anyway, this game right here is a gift from Mitch and Kate. It was! Because Mitch knows that I'm all about my couch co-op yep. games and thought this would be a great game for me and Alex to sit down and play. And of all times, they bought it on their honeymoon. I know, right? Yeah. They did that it kind of as a thank you there because you helped them quite a bit They kept in their thanking wedding. us though. They took yeah. us out for dinner. I know, I and know. And then Kate dropped me off Icy Squares last night and I, I almost kissed her. And I don't like girls that way. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I just, I was really excited about Icy Squares. I'm excited about Icy Squares now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is Dungeons and Dragons. The Dungeons and Dragons heroes. Me and Alex have really? been playing this. Yeah. And now that he's got all his new little games on his uh, Switch Lite. Switch Lite, yeah. I can't pry him away from that thing. We had played a couple hours, maybe three hours of this. And I was like, okay, well, let's just try to beat the game. I don't know how long it takes. Yeah. I don't want to ruin anything by going on and looking up too much about it. 
But it's a, a top down view. You're gonna be playing people. You know how you get him to play it with you? I don't know. If you don't come play it with me, I'll just get your mother to play it with me. Oh maybe. And then he might play it with you. Maybe. Anyway, we want to do a show, and I told him since he has his own YouTube account, I said maybe we can do the show, and then we'll put it on both channels. Mm -hmm. That'd be so cool. since I just mentioned his YouTube channel. Is Lulzer, I think is the way he pronounces it. L O L Z E R 99. We're gonna put the uh, link in the description if you guys wanna go check out his channel. Yeah. And since we're doing that, why don't we mention your new channel? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't have a lot of gaming knowledge, although if you watched the video previous to this, I'm, that's my goal for 2020. Uh, but, educate. Educate, yeah. yeah. But there's so many other things that I can do that can also relate back to this channel too. But I wanted to have kind of a companion channel, so I'm doing a Gen Ken. I do painting, as you guys know. I do sewing from time to time, as you guys know, for my Princess Peach costume. Very but I also creative. do a lot of photography. I do a lot of... I used to do cakes, uh, big fondant cakes. I really want to do one for Mario Day, which is March 10th, which is two days after your birthday, so maybe we'll do a cool Mario cake. But there's just a lot of things I can do, so I want to do a Jen Ken, that's the name of the channel, Jen Ken. But then I would like to have you on from time to time, and then do a Scott Cannot. So, um, one of our ideas... Scott can do whatever no, Jen can. but Scott cannot do makeup. And maybe Not on me. I would love for him to do my makeup, and I think that would be hilarious. Yeah. My eyes. My last, my last pick. I, we literally just picked this up. Yep. About two days after Black Friday sale. Oh, it's so we picked it up on Marketplace. Yep. And we only paid twenty bucks for it. Yep. And the first day I played this, I literally thought yeah. I was going to have an addiction. Oh, I no. had to. I just got up, grabbed a coffee, came down, because you went somewhere. Yeah. Came downstairs and played, and like two hours went by and I heard her come home. I'm like, I went upstairs, I'll be back already? Yeah, well, it's 12 o'clock. I'm like, holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, oh, I'm gonna go downstairs and play again. And um, I think in all, I played probably between eight and 10 hours straight on yeah. this. I forgot to eat, I forgot to drink, I even <laughs> forgot to go to the bathroom. <laughs> At the end of the night, you know, like, because I stopped there, like, probably mid-evening or whatever, and finally got something to eat. And I'm then pretty sure we, I fed you at we, one point. I think you might have brought me some food or something yeah. there, but I remember looking at you at, towards the end of the night for a minute, and I said, I think I forgot to poop today. <laughs> 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 anyway, I haven't been able to put this game down since I picked it up, yeah. and I'm going to try to 100% this sucker because I can't tell you how fun this is to swing around through the city and complete all the little side missions and all these little quests. Oh, yeah. To the point. The graphics are amazing, it, and I feel like blind. I have to apologize because my stupid computer will only game capture up to 720. Oh. oh the I know. new laptop will capture yeah. 4K, I yeah. do believe. So, if you haven't picked this up, if you're somebody that is late to the game on this, or like me, you're just cheap and don't want to pay $80 for a new game, because I am cheap and so go out and try to get yourself a copy of this for $20 and yes. under. It is well, well worth it. Do yourself a favor. To the point where uh, Dennis texted me and asked me, what are you guys doing? He's, I'm like, oh, we're just farting around, we're playing some games. And he's like, you web slinging? Because we have <laughs> always had this in the PS4 since we bought it. It's always in. I'm like, okay. I would watch you play some Spider-Man if you want to play some Spider-Man. Oh, and awesome. then he plays some Spider-Man. It's awesome. It's awesome. And I have got a few more games from PS4 that I bought that I haven't even tried yet because I want to get through. Yes. I want to finish Spider-Man yeah. so that I don't compare or get sidetracked on mm -hmm. it. We have a first world problem. First world problem. We got a minute and tape. 30 seconds left. Run out of tape, people. Yeah. So, like, subscribe, comment. Um, I don't know what you want to comment on. What's your favorite? Yes, what are your favorite pickups? Yeah. Maybe stuff you picked up in 2019. Tell me what I should keep an eye on for. Yeah. yeah. We, we don't have like a huge wealth of knowledge in games. We're always on YouTube looking yeah. stuff up. 
So maybe we're missing something. Maybe yeah, there's something some we have to have. obscure games yeah. that weren't very common. Yeah. You know, maybe or just a like a cheap $5 hand. game that got overlooked yeah. and you're like, Hidden you gem. really need to get this. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Until right. okay. next time, guys. Game on. Game on.